Hello, my name is Jonas and you're watching Full Stack Designer and today we're gonna be learning how to make this awesome Tinder card swipe animation where you can swipe right or left. So let's go! So let me first do a little overview of the project. So here we have the base design for the Tinder app. Let's go back to the design side. And here on the left I have the design, figure design, and on the right side I have the prototype running at all times. And I have also prepared the card components to be used for this tutorial. And in the card I also have set up the nope and the like labels and we can toggle them by changing their opacity which will be animated nicely by Figma and if you didn't know you can double tap the zero number on the keyboard to toggle the opacity to 100 and to 0 or 50 by tapping 5 but we will be setting them initially to opacity 0 so let's begin by dragging the card into the design and let's uh, center it quickly and actually uh, let's position it like so 16 pixels from the toolbar and then we are going to duplicate the card and then we're gonna change the picture well because I have three instances of the card with the different uh, information and images so in the design we're gonna change the card that's below to be the instance number two which then is this image but we're gonna leave this here and then we're gonna duplicate the whole screen move it down don't worry this is gonna make sense this is gonna make sense in a bit oh sorry and three four five like so 40 and version two yes it's correct and now we're going to swap these so the card that's on on top we're gonna change that to be the face number two and the card that's below is gonna be the face number three like so and then we're gonna duplicate this person two screen one more time to be the person three screen and then actually on the last because I'm only planning to add three cards here because it doesn't make any sense to add more like too many in this example so we're gonna add only one card to the person 3 and change it to be the face for person 3 cool and now we're gonna add the interact interactable uh, like areas to the design so select the frame tool and draw a frame that's going to cover the card area select the first one screen and actually hide these so we can see better uh, so draw a frame over the card elements and make it the size of the cards so it's the actual card that will be detecting the like dragging uh, and we're gonna change the name of this to be swipe a right area and then we're going to duplicate it and go on the bottom one swipe left area and now we can actually lock these layers so then we can actually interact the with the layers below and then we're gonna be, we are going to duplicate the person one and actually rename this to be person one but the like variant and then 
we are going to select the card that's on top and from that we are going to enable the like label and then rotate the card like this and then we're gonna move it to the position where we want it, want it to end up when we actually drag so I'll find out this was like a reasonable result and then now you now you can see what the card below will end up looking like and now we are going to duplicate the person one again but now move it to the left side because you don't actually have to move it to the left side it just makes more sense because we are swiping left and right it's, it makes more sense to build the prototype this way and then there's gonna be person one nope side and you do the same thing here select a card on top but this time we're going to enable the nope label and then we are going to rotate this like so not this much here and move it to the position where we want it to end up after the swipe so right around here like so and now I'm basically going to repeat this step for the rest of these so I'll do a quick mandas for you Okay, so now that the like uh, design layout is complete, we can start building the actual prototype. So we're gonna start from the person one screen, and uh, where is it? It's here in the bottom. And here uh, we can actually choose the prototype tab, and then select the swipe right area, and then we are just gonna simply connect it to the like side and then set the interaction to be on drag select push to the right and then enable smart animate matching layers and then do the same for the swipe left area just connect it to the left interaction will be on drag push but this time to the left and enable, enable this so now we should be able to drag to swipe but just walk for one but hold up we're gonna fix that and also the left uh, dragging wheel will work so now comes the crucial part from here we're gonna select the whole screen here and then drag a connection to the person 2 screen but this time we're gonna choose the interaction to be after delay and set this to be zero well one figma doesn't allow actually zero and then the animation is going to be instant and then do the same for the left or the nope side connect it to the person two screen after delay zero or one instant and like so you will be like navigated to the next uh, draggable area on the prototype and now we just have to connect uh, this side also which seems to be missing the draggable areas so let me just quickly add those Okay, so now, we, now, now that we have the frames for the swiping also in here, we're gonna do the same thing as above. So simply choose the right area, uh, swipe right area, then connect it to the like side, choose on drag, navigate to, and then push right, small animate, 
and then the same for the left side. One drag, push left, like so. And then don't forget to add the instant transitions from both of these. So after delay, zero, instant, and the same from the left side. After delay, one millisecond, instant. And then do the same yet again to the last screen. So choose the select the uh, swipe right area, connect it to the uh, right screen, choose on drag, navigate to push right, smart animate, and then swipe left. Connect it to the left. Actually, have to rename this screen. And drag, push left, like so. And let's not leave this person four, but actually person three. Nope. Oh, nope. Actually, nope. Thank you. And now let's see if our prototype is working. So we can swipe right, we can swipe left, or right again. Hmm, something's not matching here. Let's see quickly what's going on. No more singles. Aha, huh, it's missing the... Is it? Ah, it's outside. <laughs> okay, let's move it in. Like so. Here. Alright. Let's see again. Right, right, right. And that's it. There we go. We're done here. So, now you know how to create this awesome Tinder card swipe animation in your Figma prototypes. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please consider subscribing and leaving a like down below. But this is the end of this video. So, see you in the next one. Bye bye.